these guys just came from Japan and now they're hanging out at the Boo with the dogs and us. And it's about eight in the morning. It's a morning tropical drink on the beach. Ooh, what could be better than that? Whoops, I drift on the rock. Cheers to our health. Delicious. Mm. Now I need my Instagram shot. That's good. A new car has arrived thanks to Chevrolet. I think it's the cruise. Uh, let's go see. Chevy Cruze. What do you think? It's red. <laughs> it's red. I do think it's that. A, it's kind of a hot hatch. I can see how someone would be attracted to well, wanting it's actually to really got a modify beautiful, this. Beautiful front dash. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. We're going up into town. Got a couple errands to do. How expensive is this car? I have no idea. Thank you. We'll find out. Store. What do you need? Brown paint for kangaroo eyeballs. Let's go. That looks like a kangaroo eyeball if I ever saw. I almost use this. Tiny. I shrunk because of the eclipse. <laughs> the eclipse is happening. It's right up there. Can you tell it's a little bit darker than normal? I can't work. I can't see back here. Where, where'd the camera go? No. About to take a quick jaunt to the beach, to Matador Beach. Uh, Kathy felt like doing a beach cleanup, but we made a lunch too, which is right here. So we're gonna head over there, you know, see if there's any trash, which all the tourists came in and probably left a lot of stuff. So we'll go check it out and explore a little bit, see what we can find. This is the first time Kathy's been in this truck. 62 pickup. It's awesome. It's pretty cool, huh? Big thanks again to the Murphy Museum. What do you like? I like the color. Color is definitely Kathy's color. Driving north on PCH, it doesn't look like PCH because it's really not. Uh, there was an accident and they sent us up on this street now. Uh, we really don't know where we are. We're just following the bus because we know that the bus has to uh, make his way north.
are like a glove. Woo! We made it. We're at uh, Matador, El Matador State Beach. And the weird thing about this beach is that there are no trash cans here, which is really strange. It's a state beach and they should have trash cans so people can throw their stuff away. But instead, they a lot of people just leave it on the beach. And that's why we're here. We're going to go clean up. see it but the parking lot is totally full with cars 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 everywhere but we are sitting on the bluffs at a incredible spot with the best view in town and there's not a single person here. why do we ever eat at home we've had lunch time to go down check out the beach look it's camping Pretty clean today, but I think it's because of the high tide. Nonetheless, we got our trash, got a swim in, had a good lunch, so we're good to go. And as you guys know, success is always met best with frozen yogurt and ice cream. That's what we're gonna do next. I burned a lot of calories. Did you see those stairs? Oh yeah. It's gonna be worth the frozen yogurt. Yeah. When all else fails, sea salt caramel and taco chip, or vanilla yogurt. I know it's not that creative, but it's good. Persistence. Well, no, let's talk about my glasses. Are these are these cool? Found these on the beach. I don't think they're quite me. How about these? These? Not very good. They don't have the sides on them. Maybe this. I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing. Persistence. Persistence. You know, what does persistence mean to you? I know what it means to me. Uh, persistence means never giving up. It means Go, 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 until you get what it is that you want. Now, some people aren't necessarily willing to do that. When I when I first started getting cars sent to me, I really wasn't sure they were gonna say yes. You know, a GM was the first guys I went to, and lucky for me, uh, I provided some kind of value to them, and they sent me a Corvette. That was cool. That was about six years ago, and now uh, I get a plethora of cars. I'm so grateful to these people for all this, but it was the persistence that, that kept me going, saying, hey, if I just keep going with this, then good things are gonna happen. So let's talk about Kathy for a second. That's me. We've been talking for a while, that Kathy was planning to go to Hawaii. Well, yeah, she's going. She's going. Not only is she going, uh, we have the dates locked in. She's already paid. She's heading out the end of September and she's staying for three weeks. Three weeks. She's going to Oahu, 
uh, to the North Shore where the big waves are. She's going to stay right at Waimea Bay, see some of the, the big surf. She's going to do some uh, tr big trash pickup with a company called for ocean diving. She's gonna stay there for a week and then she's gonna head to Hilo on the big island and she's gonna go to a, a, a really cool health retreat for two weeks. And while she's there, she's gonna be filming, taking pictures, and she's gonna send those to me and I'm gonna keep you guys updated on what's going on with her. But once again, back to persistence. When she first started this whole idea, she wasn't sure. She wasn't sure she wanted to do it. She wasn't sure she wanted to commit, you know, the money, the, the time, all that stuff. But she was persistent. She, she knew she wanted to, to create a change, do something really cool. And one guarantee is that you never do something different. Nothing different will ever happen. In other words, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're gonna keep getting the same result. We're not talking about her going on vacation. We're talking about, she's basically going to college for three weeks. This is an intensive course of, of foods and health and, and, uh, and vegan mentality and all kinds of really great stuff that's gonna expand and enhance her way of thinking. Uh, let's switch gears real quick. Get this up. See, we polished this. Chris and Anya, thank you so much. This is kind of what it looked like before. I don't think she polished that side. It kind of would look like this, and now it looks like that. Look at that, it's gorgeous. I don't know, it's just, it's just a, such a beautiful piece. This, this was a, a cigarette case. See that? Cool, huh? I could do it with one hand. Still working on it, it's beautiful. Thank you again, guys, really enjoy this. And lastly, let's talk about the Chevy Cruze for a second. I only had that car for like two days, haven't had a chance to do too much with it, driving it a little bit, but I wanna give you guys a little bit of a heads up as to what's going on with that car, and uh, we're gonna be doing some interesting stuff with it. One day, especially this weekend, this weekend we're going up to, where are we going? We are going to Solvang for wheels and windmills. A very, very cool show. I, it's been a while since I've been up to this show, but lots of really great classic cars, hot rods, rat rods, all kinds of cool stuff. Ken's coming up, Kathy and I, we're all gonna pile in the cruise, and we're gonna head on up there. But a few stats with the car. A couple of stats. The car runs around $30,000, maybe a little, slightly less. It's got a 1.4 liter turbo. The color is red hot with a jet black interior, and it gets a whopping 31 miles per gallon. Not bad. I'll tell you some more stuff later, but it comes in a variety of colors. I don't know, I, I like the, the hatchback more than the, the regular sedan. It just kind of looks like a small sedan, not that big of a deal. But the hatchback, it kind of looks racy. I like the little wing on the back. It's a good design. So be persistent, people. Be persistent. Stick to what it is that you want. Focus on what it is that you want and go after it and don't stop until you get it. Don't listen to the doctor knows of the world telling you that you can't do it, all the things that you have, that I have to do in order to achieve it. Don't listen to them. Go with your gut. Go with what's in your heart. Listen to the universe telling you to get out there and do the thing. Because persistence, persistence pays off. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hang out with us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. This is Fireball Malibu Vlog, and this is car culture and beach life on an epic level. <laughs> oh, I agree with that. <laughs>